Hello and welcome to our nutrition education webinar on heart healthy fats, part two. In our previous video on fats, we covered the role they play in our health, food sources, and special considerations for heart health. Today we are going to take a closer look at two main types of dietary fats, how to identify them, and a few ways you can increase your intake of heart healthy fats. Fats may have received a bad reputation over the years, but they are necessary for good health. Fats provide your body with energy, protect your organs, support cell structure, and help your body absorb certain nutrients. While being mindful of how much fat we consume is important, it's especially important to be aware of the types of fat you consume and how they affect health. Let's take a closer look at fat types. There are two main categories of fat found in food, saturated and unsaturated. First, let's discuss saturated fats. Saturated fats are the type that's recommended to consume less of. This is because a high intake of saturated fat is associated with elevated LDL, or bad cholesterol, and an increased risk of heart disease. The Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommend that no more than 10% of your total daily calories come from saturated fat. For people who need to lower their cholesterol, the American Heart Association recommends reducing saturated fat to less than 6% of total daily calories. Saturated fats primarily come from animal sources, such as beef, pork, lamb, chicken, especially with the skin on, and full fat dairy products, such as whole milk and full fat yogurt. The few plant sources of saturated fat include tropical oils like coconut and palm oil. Saturated fat is commonly found in baked or fried foods. An easy way to identify saturated fats is to remember that most of them are solid at room temperature. Picture butter or the fat marbling you'll see in most cuts of steak. Yep, those are sources of saturated fat. Unsaturated fats are the other large category of dietary fat. These are considered heart healthy because they can keep cholesterol levels low and reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke. The dietary guidelines recommend replacing most saturated fat sources with unsaturated fat. Here are examples of foods high in unsaturated fat. Non-tropical vegetable oils, canola, olive, soybean, and sunflower oil are a few examples. Fatty or oily fish like salmon or tuna, nuts such as peanuts, walnuts, and cashews, nut butters like peanut butter, seeds such as flax seeds, pumpkin seeds, and chia seeds, tofu or soybeans, and avocado. Unlike saturated fats, unsaturated fat tends to be liquid at room temperature. Most cooking oils are liquid at room temperature, a good indication that they are high in those heart-healthy unsaturated fats. Inspired to replace some of your saturated fat with unsaturated fat? Here are some common ways to help you do that. Try using a heart healthy oil like olive oil, canola oil, or avocado oil in place of butter when cooking. Use less red meat, such as beef, in favor of fish and lean meat like chicken and turkey. You can reduce saturated fat further by removing the skin from poultry. Include more low or non-fat dairy products. Swap whole milk for non-fat 1% or 2% milk. Try yogurt or cheese made with skim milk instead of whole milk. While swaps are helpful, this doesn't mean you can't enjoy an item high in saturated fat occasionally. Moderation in how often you have these items and your serving sizes are key. Talk to your dietitian to figure out what works best for you. Here are some additional ideas for ways you can add heart healthy fats to meals and snacks. Sprinkle chia seeds or ground flax seeds on your oatmeal or add them to your smoothies. Use mayo, which is low in saturated fat and high in unsaturated fat, or mashed avocado as a spread on sandwiches. Pair apples or celery with peanut butter. And don't be afraid of cooking your veggies in a little oil, like canola or olive oil. Remember, fats help our bodies absorb certain nutrients, so cooking your veggies in oil can help you absorb more nutrition. 
One way to get more familiar with the types of fat in your food is to read the nutrition facts label on food packaging. You can see an example here with fat listed under the calories. Not only can you see the total amount of fat in a serving of the product, but you can read the amount of saturated fat present, if there is any. Remember that the information on the label is based on the serving size listed, which does not always reflect the total amount in the package or the amount you are eating. You might eat more or less than the serving size mentioned on the label. If you are not sure about the serving size as compared to what you eat, schedule a call with your dietitian at Food & Friends. A special note about red meat, you don't have to completely cut it out. While it is typically higher in saturated fat than other types of meat, you can find cuts of red meat that are lean. This includes common items like steak or ground beef. Ground beef comes in a variety of forms depending on how much fat is present. Take 80-20 ground beef, for example. This means 80% of the product is lean, while 20% is fat. An even leaner option for ground beef is 90-10, which refers to meat that is 90% lean and 10% fat. You can find more details about the nutrition on the Nutrition Facts label. When purchasing steak, look for cuts that have less visible fat marbling. Naturally lean cuts of steak include chuck, brisket, shank, short loin, sirloin, flank, or round. You'll notice plenty of items in your food and friends deliveries that contain heart healthy fats. For those receiving medically tailored meals, this includes our dishes containing fish, such as the salmon cakes or the Caribbean fish stew. You'll also find dishes made with soy products like tofu, and many dishes are cooked with heart healthy oils. Another notable item is our trail mix, which contains heart healthy fat from peanuts. If you receive our medically tailored groceries, you'll get heart healthy choices such as the canola oil, canned tuna, canned salmon, and lean meat like the ground turkey and chicken breasts. Thank you for watching. We hope this information empowers you with the knowledge and tools you need to make heart healthy food choices. If you have questions or comments, please reach out to your food and friends dietitian. You can find your dietitian's contact information here.